Welcome back, Star Fam. We are always on the lookout for ways to enhance our backhand skills as amateur disc golf players. We are constantly looking for ways to improve. Today, we'll be diving into the realm of common mistakes that often plague our backhand throws. Are you inadvertently falling victim to these mistakes? These are the three most frequently observed blunders that Seeker has identified in the backhand. So without further ado, let's fly to it. One of the common mistakes Seeker sees in the backhand is what they refer to as the skateboard stance. This is the skateboard stance. Notice how my feet are in line. What Seeker suggests for us to do is to make sure our plant foot is in front of our trailing leg. This is going to allow us to get a better reach back and better power pocket. Another mistake Seeker sees is in our power pocket. That could be with elbow position being too low or elbow position being too high. Another common mistake is max acceleration halfway through our power pocket. What that means is we hit max power here. So we want to make sure we hit max power at our release. So. You don't want to top out halfway through the par pocket because on the way through, you just lose all that power. And there you have it, the three common mistakes that may be hindering our backhand technique. I must emphasize how valuable Seeker's training app has been in refining my backhand. One of the standout features of the Seeker training app is the ability to progress at your own pace and revisit instructional videos. As we wrap this video up, Next time, we'll be looking at the common mistakes in the forehand. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that upload. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Seraph out.